Was it excessive force? Also, I saw the gun in his hand. More questions about federal force after another raid left a Davis home in shambles. You're watching News 10 at 6. Good evening to you. I'm Christina Mendonca. Dale Shornack has the night off. Topping our news. The Fourth Amendment guarantees us the right to be secure in our homes against an unreasonable search. So what's the definition of reasonable? For a Davis homeowner, the raid in Stockton bears some frightening similarities to what happened to her in April. Linda Clark told News 10's Karen Massey investigators were looking for child pornography, but instead found what she believes were innocent tenants who thought they were being robbed. I saw the gun in his hand and there was other people running around the house with guns in their hands. Tyler Murray Clark was jolted awake at his grandmother's rental home in Davis by ICE, U.S. Immigration and Customs agents. He pointed his gun at me and told me to turn around and put my hands above my head. Feds herded his roommates into the living room, but it wasn't easy. Most of the people here didn't even speak English, so they're terrified out of their minds. People banging on their doors and rushing into their rooms. A search warrant shows the investigation involved child pornography. And eventually they told us that they were looking for someone who went on a site, a child pornography site. This door was open. The door they battered down, I'm touching. Property owner Linda Clark says she didn't think agents needed to take a batting ram to an interior door, ransack everyone's personal belongings, and traumatize a mother-to-be. One, one woman was pregnant uh, and miscarried uh, three days later. Clark says agents seem focused on something that happened last year. Most of the tenants were not here a year ago. There was only one person still living here who had been here a year ago. Some cases simply do not require a SWAT entry. But defense attorney Bill Portanova says cops are heavy-handed to keep the element of surprise and themselves safe. So the fact that somebody's hurt or excited or disturbed by police work does not necessarily make it wrong. It's the nature of the work. Meanwhile, Clark has filed a complaint. They had a legal search, search warrant. What I'm objecting to is the way in which they conducted the search. In Davis, Karen Massey, News 10. Well, late this afternoon, we get this statement from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. ICE is aware of allegations made by the property owner regarding agent actions. The circumstances are under review.